guys! So as you can see by the title of this video, today I am going to be doing a room tour and showing you around the room in which I spend about 100% of my time. <laughs> so without further ado, let's begin! So at the door when you walk in, there's just nothing except this little box here. So in here I have all of my bath things, so mostly it's Lush and actually I think all of it is Lush and Soap and Glory. So I have that right by my door so that I can easily just grab something as I go to have a bath. Then behind my door I have my light switch but I don't use that because it's behind my door. So overall this is what my bedroom looks like. I moved in here about a year ago and I chose to go for a theme of white with a pop of colour purely because white is a very calming colour and I think it also looks really clean. Let's go over to this side of the room first. So as you walk in next to the door you have my desk. Over here I just have a plain red office chair which I recently changed from a black one but I've actually done a whole desk tour so if you're more interested in seeing this in detail then be sure to check that out, there'll be a link in the description below. But basically this is just a quick view of that. In this cupboard I have school things and stuff like that. This is a little stationary drawer and this big drawer is full of wires and chargers and whatnot. I just recently got my Mac um, for editing and stuff like that and it's so much better than using a laptop. And then I have my laptop just for personal use really. That's my vlog camera because I'm actually vlogging this entire week. I got a mouse mat which is exciting although it said it was white. That does not look white to me. Then I've just got books, candles and my little sweetie area. I actually really like my little sweetie area. I made those stickers for the jars. The jars were from New Look and they came with sweets already in them. I just took the labels off, cut out bits of paper in this shape and drew on the labels. Sorry if you've already seen my desk tour and it sounds like I'm repeating myself. But above my desk I have this canvas which is from Home Bargains and that was $3.99 so I thought that was really good. I think it's supposed to go in your kitchen because it's a recipe but I like it in here and thought that was very appropriate. My whole desk is from Ikea, the top section is separate from the bottom section. Basically my whole bedroom looks like an Ikea showroom. As we move from the door round to the desk we get to this thing. On the side of it here I have these Polaroids of my holiday in Turkey. I used the app called Polygram to make these and it's such a good app. And they cost about 29p each I think, so I was really happy with those. This actual unit itself is from Ikea. You can customise it to get different coloured doors, boxes, drawers, anything. But I chose to go for white and cream because my walls are white and my carpet here is cream. Oh and I'll quickly also add, from the leftover carpet we had when we got it put down, we made this rug and this rug, well we didn't make it, we got them edged and stuff and put them under the desk so that the chair doesn't make a mark on the carpet and under my makeup table so that if I drop anything then my carpet isn't going to be ruined. But anyway back to this, this is my beauty unit whatever. So I'll quickly take you through each section of this. In this cupboard here we have hair things, shampoos, oils, hairsprays, heat sprays, anything like that, all hair related things are in there. Up in here we have, that looks like absolutely nothing, but there is my straighteners, my barrel curlers and my waving wand. In this drawer I have some more moisturisers. Then down onto these drawers. This drawer is for my hair dryer, extra hair brushes and stuff like that. And the drawer underneath that is hair accessories, so ribbons, clips, hair bows. This cupboard in here is basically just skincare and contact lenses. This cupboard is nails, so I have nail varnishes, some nail art things back there, nail files, nail varnish remover, everything nail related. In this drawer I have, what is this? This is just random things really that I don't have anywhere else for. And the drawer underneath is extra perfumes and plasters, I don't know why they're in there. And down at the bottom, this drawer is porridge and hair extensions. Bit of a weird mix I know, but for part of my skincare routine I used to put porridge on my face, 
I know that sounds really weird, but it was actually really good for my skin. And I also used to wear hair extensions, but they are a thing of the past, I promise you. <laughs> and I don't know what's in this. Oh yeah, in this bottom drawer is makeup bag. And then this final cupboard is a bit random as well. I've got some tanning stuff in there and a head massager. So that is everything that's in my beauty unit. Then on the top of this unit, I have this little drawer, which has my banknotes in it and stuff like that. I have this little basket, which just has extra papers and tickets and stuff in it. I think this shelf was from eBay and I'm not sure where the basket was from because it was a Christmas present. But then I have this pot of fake flowers from Ikea. This photo frame tree heart thing full of pictures of me and my friends. And I think that was from Dunelm, I want to say, something like that. And then I have a canvas of me and my friend Chloe up on the wall. And that is everything in that little section. Then down here we have my lovely bin which is oh so pretty. This is from Ikea as well. Behind the beauty unit and the bin I have this cupboard which we don't really go in because that's where the boiler is and stuff like that. I know I am that child that has the boiler in their bedroom but I don't really mind. It doesn't get in my way or anything. Then as we turn around from the beauty unit, we have my makeup table station thingy. I've also done a makeup collection video, so if you want to see in detail what's inside this, I will also leave a link to that in the description below. And there's also a video somewhere on my channel of me making this chair. That sounds really weird to say now because my channel's really changed, but yeah, that's the thing. I made that on camera. And this chair and makeup table are also from Ikea. Oh look, there's me. Hey! Up above the makeup table I have this shelf with my skybox on it. I'm not sure where the shelf is from, I think eBay or Amazon, something like that. And I have my TV up here, which is on a little bracket so it tilts and moves around, which is quite cool. I chose to put this makeup table in front of my window. My window is quite big, I won't show you outside just because, like, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Because then I have a lot of natural light to do my makeup, so I'm not going to look a funny colour. I really wish I had a big windowsill to put books on and stuff, but I have this really thin one, so I sort of just had to work with it. And I got these fairy lights, which are little white roses from Argos. I then have these very thin curtains, which are basically see-through, and they have these black rims at the top. My blind is a blackout blind and it's this picture that I took in Turkey of the sunrise. So I have that down overnight and then when I pull my curtains over it, it sort of looks like you can see the sunset through a curtain which is pretty. I have a customised blind purely because my dad has a print business so they were able to print it for me. Otherwise I probably just have a plain white blind. Then moving round from the window we have this little wall of art which I created myself, I'm quite proud of it I have to say. I'll turn the brightness up a bit so you can see it. So it looks like this, it's all different sized frames. Hang on, this one's wonky. So these are different sized black frames that I just put together in a little collection. I also edited the pictures I put in them to make them black and white and then have a pop of colour. For example, this picture of me and Lou, her hair is in colour but the rest of us is in black and white. I have this heart wicker thing, I think this was from Dunelm or something like that as well. Then I have like me and Leanne at prom and we're in colour but nothing else is. I have this little quote by Oscar Wilde that says you can never be overdressed or overeducated. Also have a picture of Emma Watson because she is everything I want to be in life really. But I do need to update the pictures in this because they are quite old now. I got these photo frames from all different places like the factory shop, anywhere really that sells photo frames I can guarantee. I probably bought one in there. Then underneath the pictures we have my bed. I get so many questions of where I get these things from. So everything on my bed is from Primark, the duvet, the cushions, everything. And I like to change my bed covers with the seasons. So this is my summer bed set for this year and I currently have a flamingo pillow, a soft little heart and this one that says chill and then on my duvet covers I have little tiny pineapples. My bed itself is from either Tesco or Dreams, I can't remember but I know it was really hard to find a bed that was completely white. All of them were cream, this was the only white one we managed to find. My bed is a double and it lifts up from the end, so I have a lot of things under there. It's really good for storage. I keep my Christmas tree under my bed, extra blankets, cushions, all my other different seasonal bed sheets under my bed. 
So that is really handy and I just think it looks really neat with the frames as well. Then moving on to my bedside table. So in my videos you can see the corner of my bedside table but you never actually see what it looks like because I jiggle it around for every video. I have an alarm clock because I turn my phone off at night to save battery and I heard that it's really bad if you charge your phone while you're sleeping near your head. Something to do with the waves and all that jazz. So I turn my phone off at night so I have an alarm clock instead to wake me up. I know, I'm very old fashioned. My green lamp is from Ikea. I always, always have a fresh bunch of flowers next to my bed. I just like that there's something else living in the room really and I can look after flowers pretty much better than I can look after myself. And then I just have a bottle of water and my glasses. And then my bedside table is also from Ikea. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention, up here we have um, a fan light thing. So this is how I turn my light on because my light switch is behind my door. Then we come onto my wardrobe. I think this is my favourite part of my bedroom. This whole unit is from Ikea as well. Oh look, here's me. So we have a double door wardrobe here then a corner wardrobe which is a full length mirror and then over here another double wardrobe with a little single cupboard down the side. But in the single cupboard, you know that stuff that no one has a place for, it's just shoved in here? Yeah, so that's my stuff cupboard. Then the double wardrobe next to the stuff cupboard is my prettiest wardrobe, I think. My wardrobe handles are also from Ikea. So as I open my wardrobe, this is what it looks like. Up here I have all my t-shirts and shorts and skirts. Then moving down a bit I have my general handbag and my clutch bags underneath. Behind my clothes I have some hidden things. So I have a couple of hats there, a couple of jewellery boxes, my sunglasses. Then as I open out this thin drawer, this is my jewellery drawer. So this is where I keep my most used jewellery. Then underneath the jewellery drawer, there's the underwear drawer, the pyjama drawer, the bits and bobs drawer and the shoe drawer. So in here, don't mind my slippers, are my most worn summer shoes. I've just recently changed them over from my winter shoes. I have these lights in my wardrobe when I open the door. Then as we move round, I have my full length mirror in the corner. This is also part of the wardrobe and this just opens up like so it also has lights in it up here i have my coats and jackets and down here i have my uniform and then finally round onto the last double wardrobe so this one has lights in it too it's just so much easier when it's dark and you can actually see what you're doing here i have my trouser rack down the bottom and this actually pulls out it's on little rails and it makes it really easy for you to choose which pair of trousers you want to wear then up here this is sort of the more wintry wardrobe. I have my jumpers, cardigans, but then it does go into dresses and dressing gowns as well. This whole wardrobe unit together is from Ikea, as I've said many times, and it was about 900 pounds, I think, for the whole thing, including the baskets, the drawers, the pull-out thingies, the jewelry drawer, the lights, all of it was about 900 pounds. And also, this reminds me talking about the lights. I also have under my desk, this little light so this turns on like so and lights up this whole desk area which is really handy when I'm editing till really late at night. I think that's everything I'll just quickly do a once over again so I have my wardrobe, my bedside table, my bed and the frames, my blind with my curtains, my TV and my makeup dressing table thingy, my beauty station, my desk round to my door and back to the wardrobes. So that is everything in my bedroom. If I have missed out where anything is from, be sure to leave it in the comments and I will let you know straight away. So there we have it. Now you have finally seen what my entire bedroom looks like. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you happen to be new here, of course, please subscribe and you can see my videos every single Thursday at 5 p.m. Thanks for watching and I will catch you again next week. Bye.